Tywin is leading his forces in defense of his grandson King Joffrey Baratheon in the War of the Five Kings. He has suffered three significant defeats at the hands of newly declared king in the North Rob, and his son Jaime remains Rob's captive. His regrouped forces are raiding the Riverlands from their base at Harrenhal. Rob wins a further victory against Tywin's reinforcements in the Battle of Oxcross. Tywin returns to Harrenhal to find his courtyard full of prisoners and Sir Gregor Clegane and his men systematically torturing them to death. He orders a halt to the practice due to its waste of manpower. He notices a female prisoner posing as a boy. She says that it is safer to travel as a boy and recognizing her intelligence he makes her his new cabera. Tywin hosts a war council to discuss a new strategy to defeat Rob. He is frustrated at having underestimated his opponent. Realizing that Arya, who initially claims to be from Maidenpool, is from the north he asks for her opinion of Rob. She relays rumors about his supernatural connection to his direwolf, Grey Wind, and supposed invulnerability. Tywin asks if she believes what she has heard and she says that anyone can be killed. Tywin berates Sir Amory Lorch for misdirecting a communique into the hands of their enemies. He is surprised to discover that Arya reads better than his bannerman. He later questions the source of her literacy. She is able to maintain her lie while Tywin recalls how he made Jamie overcome his reading difficulties. As Tywin reminisces about his father's weakness Arya steals the letter. She is caught carrying it by Amory. She orders Amory's death through her connection to the assassin Jack and Hagar. Tywin is shocked when Amory dies on the threshold of his chambers but does not know who was responsible. He believes he was the one being targeted. Tywin meets with Littlefinger, who proposes an alliance with House Tyrell. Tywin dedicates himself to finding the assassin, ordering the torture and execution of dozens of his own men. Gregor suggests that it was an infiltrator from the Brotherhood without banners. Arya serves him mutton, a meal he dislikes. Arya says she will go look for something else but he instead invites her to eat, and they talk about Harren Hall and how it came to ruin after dragons attacked it. He is once again very impressed with her knowledge, and is amused by her will to defy him when he corrects her on how to refer to one's lord. Rob continues to win victories in the Westerlands, taking captives at Yellow Fork, forcing the surrender of the crag, and closing on Casterly Rock itself. King Stannis Baratheon sails on King's Landing. With both the nation's capital and his own seat under threat Tywin convenes a war council. He argues that Rob is a greater threat and decides to march immediately. He leaves Sir Gregor as Castellan at Harren Hall and Arya to be his cubbearer. Unbeknownst to him, however, Arya manages to escape Harren Hall. Tywin arrives in King's Landing towards the end of Battle of the Blackwater with a large force of Lannister Tyrell soldiers, assisted by Loras Tyrell, who allied with Tywin after correctly guessing Stannis instigated Renly's death, thus winning the battle. A wounded Tyrion sees them arrive, just before passing out. Cersei is sitting on the Iron Throne with Tommen, when Tywin comes in to announce their victory. At the ceremony to honor the heroes of the battle, Tywin rides his horse into the throne room and across to the throne, where Joffrey grants him the honorable title of, Savior of the City, and reaffirms him as Hand of the King to the court. Tywin rides in on his horse to accept the honor and show off his power, but not before the beast defecates on the doorway of the throne room.